Okay, there it is. What's up, guys? <laughs> this is definitely Sharky's Paradise. Gold. <laughs> Perfect. Gold. Perfect. I crack myself up, Absolute man. Absolutely. I gold. really do. Now do a real intro? Real intro. Okay. What's up, guys? This is Devin of Sharky's Paradise, also known as Slater Inks on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. Here's some of my stuff. Right off the bat, this week we did Caitlin's daddy o tattoo for her dear father. Dad's not been doing too well, so she decided to get a little memorial tattoo for him. She really likes the traditional style, so we decided to do a traditional swallow with the banner wrapping around the front in front of a heart. I really enjoy doing meaningful tattoos for people like that. Sentimental tattoos are nice every once in a while. client named Liam. Liam is a super, super cool dude. He came in with uh, one of our other friends to get a nine-tailed fox tattoo on his arm. I have no idea what TV show it's from and I'm not even gonna pretend that I do. But it was a fun tattoo. Ah! Ah. It's a dangerous tattoo artist in the wild. I have somehow become the wing expert. I've done like seven birds. So every time a little wing tattoo comes in, it's always put on my plate. So this kid came in, he wanted some wings on his back. It was a nice little tattoo. I actually do a lot of wings on backs. How you feeling? Pretty good. About halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's something that I get to see fairly often and it comes out smooth every time. The lady with the wing. Yeah, the, I know you. You're the wing lot, lady. I do a lot of birds. What can I say? I'm the wing lady. I'm the wing lady. <laughs> Sponsor me. Now, hello guys, name's Hector. Uh, this week, Sharky's Paradise, we definitely had a lot of cool stuff coming in and out of the shop. A couple designs I did that were fun and all. And, uh, you know, glad you guys have been watching our weekly recaps. They've been definitely awesome. So this week, I did a tattoo for a rapper that passed away, Young Dolph, on my homeboy's front shin. It was really fun doing, just because, you know, it was a memorial piece for a rapper that passed away. You know, rest in peace, Young Dolph, all day. But no, it was just a fun piece, you know, that was one of his favorite rappers, and so it was nice to give him, like, you know, a piece to last forever. So that was a fun one. He's struggling, he's struggling. Oh. When he hits the bone, bro. <laughs> I had the opportunity to do a horror themed tattoo and the uh, thing that made it a little bit more fun about this tattoo was the fact that I would always look on the internet for this tattoo and it was always the same 2D image of ghost face and a knife. So for this project I rewatched the first scream and I screenshotted a image of his face when he's up to the glass and then I used that as my reference photo for the knife. How do you feel? This is your first tattoo. Good. <laughs> well, let's see the marks on the hand here. <laughs> so when she goes out there and people are like, I've seen that knife before, they haven't because it's original. So I think that was pretty cool. And she's definitely coming back to get more. She definitely wanted to get a Michael Myers tattoo as well. So I think it's going to be pretty cool to do this little horror theme sleeve for her. And I also did some finger tattoos on a returning client of mine. She's got a lot of anime pieces on her leg, but this time she just wanted to go for a little simple. And this time it was just some zodiac symbols on her finger, representing her and her mother and her father. So I thought that was really neat. Go, go, go. Pick him up, take him to the bush. He's just trying to get hot or I trying to warm up. Go. Ah! <laughs> just leave him alone. I don't want him to get run over. That's why I was trying to run him this way. Okay, there you go. There you go, Mr. Toad. One of the things that we love about the culture here in Longmont is there's a lot of hot rod enthusiasts, lots of people proud of their vehicles, and they get out, and they organize some cruise nights, and this particular group, shout out 303 Outlaws, they help to organize a pretty regular cruise night that happens on Saturdays. It's pretty cool. People go up there and park, and then people go out and cruise and do their thing on Main. Okay, let's get, you want to check this one out? Let's check it out. This is, this is the kids' favorite right here. We see it everywhere. 
<laughs> oh, is it? Epic. What's your favorite part? All of it. All of it? All yeah, my man. All right. I've got several vehicles that I like to imagine myself cruising. I got a 67 Cadillac in pieces. I got a 71 Volkswagen Beetle not running. I've got a bus that we just went and picked up. I got the bullet van, ugly as sin. Nobody wants to drive a ride in that. And um, got my Harley, which uh, nobody's allowed to ride on either. So, just me. <laughs> <laughs> just mama. Yeah. Really? I, I can pop a wheelie, but I can't ride on a for really good time. <laughs> Yeah. Old for that. <laughs> Dad had the kids on his shoulder and took them for a walk around the park. Long time client here, Mason. Say what's up. God, what's up? <laughs> where do you want to go? Uh, Sharky's, man. That's, That's where we're right. That's, That's right. That's fing right. <laughs> we happen to run into Santi and her boyfriend, Zane. So here in Longmont, we like to do cruise nights. They do smaller ones at the Sonic here. I ran into the Sharky family, didn't know I was gonna see them, and we were able to all hang out and kind of cruise around for a bit on Main Street. It's a lot of fun being able to do that, especially in summer because everyone just has really good energy. It's really nice to see all the different cars as well as get to ride around in some of them. And it was lots of fun, you know. It's, we, we go out, do a little cruise, and enjoy everybody else's vehicles, and lo and behold, we run into people that we know. This particular cruise night that we have coming up next, we'll, hopefully we'll be able to have our bus up and running and be able to enjoy that as a group. had done some piercings as always. Left ear, you did some really cool stuff there. Lots of ear piercings. You want to aim the bullet? No, it's really, really fast. I believe it's going to hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these clamps on your ear and this clamp's just going to hold your ear in place and you'll just look straight forward, okay? If you need a sucker in between, you're totally fine. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good job. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna have to take another deep breath in and breathe out. Good job. This might have been the toughest little girl I've had in a long time. All right, guys, we got our first timer. Woo! Go ahead and ring that bell. Ring the bell. Good job. I did a fun septum piercing. I had a couple friends come in that got a navel and a tongue piercing. That was really fun. It's always fun to see groups of friends come in and instead of going out drinking or doing something crazy, they come in and get a really cool piercing. Always doing permanent makeup. <laughs> I love doing brows. I feel like I've really clicked just trying some new cartridges that FYT has sent me. They have a new line out there. It's called the Permanent Makeup Lush Line and their cartridges are super fire. They work amazing. They also have some Arizona Doctor Brow cartridges. Those are really, really good too. Let's see, I don't have any designs up for grabs, but if you come to me some, with some like really cool flowers or jewels or some really neat creatures that I'm wanting to do, I would love to tattoo some new designs that are really pretty, maybe even look a little glittery. All right, Jess. Yeah. First thoughts to pop into your mind, go. Um, well, right now I am paying for the Villain Arts Tattoo Convention. <laughs> Come see us there, July 8th, 9th, and 10th. What is this you're working on here? Um, a skull with the rubs. I was able to make a super custom tattoo for a first timer. He didn't quite know what he wanted to do. He knew he wanted a skull and a rose with some barbed wire in it. Originally we had one plan, but with how small he wanted to go with it, it'd be really hard to get that detail. Doing tattoos that have really, really detailed pieces in them, really small can get really hard because it can get a little bit messy and you kind of lose that definition of what you're trying to do. So we were able to change it up, keep all the elements in there, put it right on his forearm. We were able to add just a pop of color in there and it came out super, super 
super cool. I'm really excited for that tattoo. He is definitely going to be a returning client. He's already planned out a bunch of other tattoos. So I'm really excited to have him back, um, and I'm really happy with how that tattoo came out for him. Butterflies have become a really popular tattoo recently. I have been able to do quite a few different ones. I had a client come in looking to do a butterfly that was half butterfly, half floral. Definitely switch it up just a bit for her. We were able to make that really unique for herself, added some very light shading into it in the flowers and in the butterfly itself. Really made it her own piece and she was super happy with it. Oh my God, that is such good video, Eric. That was really good. I also was able to add a small little heart right here on her shoulder, nice and dainty for her, as well as a floral ankle band on her. So we were able to kind of match some flowers to her butterfly as well. And we were able to make sure that it was really nicely shaded and all connected and had a little bit of a variation to it in the front. So that way it had some asymmetrical pieces to it. It was super awesome. I'm super excited for her. Can't wait to do some more stuff for her. All right, I also had a client stop in this week. He is one of my returning clients. Something I did as an apprentice back in our old shop was a nice big Playboy bunny with the words around it, live fast, eat ass. He really wanted it. I had to make sure he wanted it when we did it, but he absolutely loves it. It's his favorite tattoo. Right next to it, we were able to add some of my flash of a girl kind of like holding up her butt, a little, little nudie picture, but we were able to make it look thermal. Um, so it has the different levels of heat color in it. He's a really cool client. Him and his friends always come in in at least a group of five, and we definitely have to knock out all their tattoos for them because they're just such loyal clients and they're always there for us. So it's super exciting to see that stuff come back into the shop. You have a few different designs up for grabs. I have one of a kind of scary looking bunny, but he's holding a little flower that's dead and it says, don't touch me, I don't want to feel underneath it. So if that one's for you, definitely hit me up. I also have a little ghost with a crown and he's just chilling. He's got his sunglasses on, pretty cool. So that's definitely something I want to put on someone as well. If anyone really likes those ones and I look forward to doing them. How do you feel? Before I had become uh, an apprentice here at Truckers Paradise, I had uh, this girl, Samantha, contact me and wanting to get a tattoo. And I told her that she needed to wait a little bit for me to finish my apprenticeship and everything, and just to get back onto skin. And uh, she waited full <laughs> four months it took me to get back onto skin, and I cannot be more thankful for that. It's definitely that type of love and support from a client that just, you know, keeps me going, you know? And I love that so much. I definitely got to, you know, give her something that she definitely loved, and that was a floral piece on her arm and we got the line work done. We're still gonna be doing the color soon and it's just incredible the fact that she waited for so long and the fact that she brought a friend because that was the neck tattoo that uh, I did that week. I did a sunflower piece on her friend's chest and it had six butterflies representing her six nephews, each one having a different color and it was just line work for now. Soon we'll get those colors in and it'll definitely make it pop, which I can't uh, wait to do. This week, I'll have some designs up and available. I'm an anime artist, so I have a lot of anime designs right now. I have a Goonie from Demon Slayer. I have a couple Dragon Ball Z designs. I have up for grabs, even some Naruto ones. You know, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible when I'll be posting those. So, you know, definitely look out for that. <laughs>